Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 5 of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. So I just made it here and got the gem. Literally took me I think two more attempts or like three because one kind of was a weird one because it just... Like I got frozen mid-jump and then I died. It was just really awkward and confusing but we got both gems there finally. They are slightly different color. One's gray and one's more like a silvery white. Anyways, next level is Smokey and the Bandicoot which is a... A level that people are known to hate. Hmm. I have a taste for some deep fried bandicoot. Ew. I don't think deep fried bandicoot would taste very well, do you? I don't think so. Ugh. Now I recommend just um going for the boxes first and not actually trying to win the race because there's no way that you're generally going to do both on your first attempt like yeah you can win the race or you can get all the boxes but there's no way you're going to really do uh anything else you know whoa and you don't automatically lose if you're last place so like yeah i have to redo the entire are you serious Yeah, that went bad. The fact that you have to play that level so slow is so ridiculously stupid. I think we'll do that one after we do a different one, just because, yeah, we'll do, we'll do Eskimo Roll. Not like this one's any better, but... Ugh. We'll go and do it anyway. A lot of my games that I play are updating this week, so I'm trying to record as much as possible to get them out of the way, as well as uh, kill some time. We have 82 boxes in this level, okay, and my earphones are, like, tickling me, and it's getting annoying, and now they're pulling out of my ears, so... Okay, can they, like, stay over there? Thank you. Also, what is that annoying sound effect? It just sounds like my ears are being burned and... There's nothing there, I don't know what that sound effect is. Oh god, it's everywhere! Are you serious? I wanna know what the heck that sound effect is and why do I have to hear it so loudly? Like, it just gets louder and louder as you go throughout the level. Like, what the balls is that, man? Who wants to, like, deafen their players? And again, you probably didn't have a headset in it when you were playing this game as a kid. Oh, it's Tiny Tigre. All he does is block you, and apparently he doesn't go that far around, so good for him. Also, Penguin. I just realized something. The first level of the Atlaspheres didn't actually have enemies. Okay, whatever that sound effect is, now it's in both ears. Oh my god. Okay, whatever it is, is disappearing now that we're going down here. So I don't know what it was that was causing the sound effects. But whatever it was really needs to uh, take a chill pill. It's down, like, below that hill. Oh, it's getting loud again. So I don't know what... I think it's those, like, snow turbine things. And Oh god, it's a nitro crate. I haven't seen any yet throughout the level, so I was just like, oh, is there going to be any Nitro Freight in this level at all? And turns out there was. Just didn't see it yet, so that's that's something to look forward to. I hear someone shooting a good gun. I don't like that much. I'm not a fan of guns. Not in this game, at least. It's Dingo Dial! Thanks, Dingo Doyle. Oh, I wanted to see what was over there, and it was just Nitro Crate, so let me grab a drink. I forgot, there's no, um... There's no, like... What was that? I know that was technically on me, but still. That was still silly. It just, like, launched me way over there. Oh yeah, this section. This section is just 
kind of whatever. Hmm. Yes. That was uh, kind of dumb with me because I knew he was there, and yet, oh. How come that time we didn't have to wait for it? I don't know. I guess I just said one at a bad time. Also, do I want to go left or right? I guess only right, huh? Oh god, more dingo dial. How many dingo dials are there, exactly? I thought there was only one. I didn't know he was cloned. I also didn't know that Cortex had a cloning machine. Wow, I didn't even need to take the ramp to get that. That was funny. Some of those are like, um, inverted and, uh, extended like that. It's kind of funny. Oh. All this for one crate, by the way. And lots of... Oh, it sounds like really loud refrigeration unit, uh, sounds. That's what, that's what those are. And over we go to the checkpoint. Nice. Wait, what's that over there? There's like a... A little tubey tunnel thing we can go in. What is this, exactly? Woohoo! Alright, so that actually doesn't technically get us anything. Entropy? And you just shoot one ball of... Stuff? Like, what is that? Like, is that even supposed to... I held up so I would go backwards but the game was like mm, how about no we don't we don't believe that is what control you were just holding down so we believe that to be a lie you are indeed lying about playing this video game made for children even though god man if children like as a kid when we were forced to play games like this you question a lot of games now where they like handhold you and you're just like well Crash, luckily, just gets harder over the years. <clears throat> Why is it when I want to hold back, it just doesn't hold back? And just keeps going. See, like, I gotta hold it for, like, three seconds minimum before it lets me uh, sl either slow down or just stop entirely. There's only, like, 20 boxes left, though, so... And we did see quite a few Nitro, especially on routes that, like... It's really weird, because there's routes that you just wouldn't take, because it's just Nitro, so... I always find that kind of funny. Ugh. Ugh. That's a cliff, you idiot! Also, where's the, uh, Nitro switch? Also, do you see that random, like, jolt I had? Are one of those the uh, Nitro switch, by the way, and not just Nitro? Oh, they all look like Nitro, so I don't know. The Nitro switch has got to be around here. Like, there's no way they'd have Nitro here, but then have, like... Oh, it's right there! And for whatever reason... Like, there's this... Weird suction on this atmosphere to go into that stupid crate. Also, why is Entropy, like, literally the worst of the, the enemies in this? Like, Tiny doesn't hurt you. Entropy technically can. But Entropy's shot is so slow and, and telegraphed that it's just super bad. I right, know. We got everything. And there's the gem. I can hear the exit. There it is. Let's let's not somehow miss it and let us leave. Oh, thank God, we got everything. Now we just have to do the time trial there, which is going to be annoying to say the least. Yahoo! Wow, we've almost done every level here already. I guess we'll do Fahrenheit Frenzy next. Let's see what this level's all about. This one has a gimmick that I'm not a big fan of. But it's not the worst level in existence, that's for sure. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's inverted, by the way. Also, how the heck do you... Oh. The fact that it's the uh, X button to... Um, to do anything here is just annoying. So my best bet... Or, my best advice to you is to line it up with where you want to go first and then go for it. Also, did those flames not hurt you? I thought they did. Hey, at least we got a checkpoint too. Oh yeah, don't go up too high because that lava on the ceiling will hurt you. Also, the lasers will obviously hurt you because they're lasers. We've seen them before. These things here, those green lights will actually hurt you too. Though there's no like reason to like why they would hurt you or what they even are, so I don't know. Alright, we got 17. Yeah, baby. That's not even close to finishing the level, but, uh, you know. Alright. And then we gotta go through here. This should have been a checkpoint if you think about it, like just the way it looks. The music here is pretty, um, creepy, though. I'll say that. Looks like this is the end of this section. So, we got 20 boxes out of that. All that for essentially nothing. That's crazy. It's another one of these levels. How many of these levels are you guys gonna give us? Like, these levels aren't even, like, unique anymore. They're the water levels. They're the fire levels. They're just... Every level whatsoever, they just tack this on and say, Yeah, this is a level. Also, unlike other Crash games, Nitro and TNT don't destroy these crates for whatever reason, so you have to destroy them yourself. And it's really confusing why that doesn't happen. Oh, that opened up Nitro over there. That's fun. Like, we needed to do that, technically. Also, I think they forgot that they gave us double jump, because, like, a lot of these obstacles or boxes wouldn't even have been that difficult to get without double jump, let alone with double jump. Also, these crates here make you invisible, aka essentially invincible, for, like, a very short time period. And then I fall into the lava. Oh god, yeah, the checkpoints in this game are notoriously, like, spaced out. They're either too close together, or not close enough. It's one of those games where they don't have a good, like, balance between the two. And then the fact that you have to wait for this. Crash is gonna do things over in the corner while we wait. Is it just those, though? Does it actually do anything else other than run? I don't think it does. Oh, I lost my Aku there! Game. There we go. You think there'd be a checkpoint around here, but no. Oh, the checkpoint was right here all along. That's... Mm. Oh, how I hate this game sometimes. Beep, beep. Oh, fire. Fun. Not really. Fire's dangerous. Don't play with fire. And the bonus. Okay. Hopefully the bonus is a lot of the boxes we're missing. What are we at? Oh, this one. Oh, I actually hit it. Perfect. I did not mean to have that happen. That was just luck. Alright, okay, just more TNT. Oh, really? We're gonna do this? Because this is fun. Oh man, that was on me. That was just dumb. Ah. Oh, I, I'm not gonna bother with that. And the rest should be explosives, so let's go. 
All right, 90 out of 147. I still can't believe so many of these levels have that many crates. Boxes, whatever you want to call them. Man, fire on fire, that's... And a droid. You're not the droid I'm looking for, buddy. Sorry, please go away. Nobody likes you, nobody wants you. They want nothing to do with you. Oh yeah, this is just an x-ray part. This is just a silly part of the level. We get to see Crash's skeleton. So apparently he's got a big bone in his nose like that. As if it's just being his nose. Um, also that enemy is... Sure. Why not? Hey, another checkpoint. That deserved a checkpoint? That easy, short section yet? Let me guess, Nitro? Oh, literally just a bunch of crates. Sure. And we got the invincibility again. Woohoo! Oh, is this the one where we can do that? Yeah, I like doing that. And there we go! We beat the level! Nice! That level was actually really easy. I was expecting it to be more of a pain in the butt because of the one gimmick on that level, but nope, not at all. That deserves a drink of iced tea. Now we gotta go back and do Smokey and the Bandicoot, which is the one level I'm not looking forward to doing. Hope you brought your sunscreen, cause you're gonna burn! No. Also, that sounds more like something you'd see in the boss fight. I'm not looking forward to doing the boss fight, though. His boss fight is probably the most tedious, obnoxious, boring, unfair boss fight of them all. Everyone hates the water one there. I never had an issue with the water one. You just have to telegraph the attacks and figure out which one does what. Luckily, this level only has 34 boxes, but I still feel like... Are you serious? That's annoying. The fact that... Hmm, also, my earphones here keep hitting my arm and it's annoying me. Like, why do they keep... There we go. Sheesh. The fact that you have to entirely leave and come back. Because even if you die, you don't restart. Like, that's the thing. You can't just die and restart. You actually have to do the entire level either over, beat it and do it over, or, you know, something. Also... The fact that you have to wait for the, uh, the, uh, timer too is just ridiculous. I'm gonna take my time at each box, apparently, now, cause... Yeah, cause, like, you slide on this uneven terrain. There we go. Woo! We're, like, what, a seventh of the way there? Yeah! Whoa, slow down. There we go. There we go. You can also press circle to drive, which honestly feels a little bit better. We're like a third of the way there. Woohoo. This level's already bad enough as is as a race, let alone the gems. Like whoever Also, why is there why is there a jump crate here? They're just like, we need random crates. Let's put a jump crate. Yeah, and see, sometimes you don't want to take the platforms, especially if you're trying to get the boxes. They've already beaten the... Okay, we're only halfway done now. Hopefully we find more spots that are four ofs, you know? Uh-oh, I don't like the looks of this. How do I... How do I break... I think it's, um... Oh god. That scares the living daylights out of me, man. Instead of dead by daylight, dead by... 
limelight, I don't know. Great incoming, great incoming. 12 remaining, 12 remaining. Oh god, no. No. Oh, thank god. That was the ultimate challenge right then and there. I don't think the race itself is that bad. At least I don't remember it being too bad. I forgot this was even part of this world and was like, oh yeah. I seen this and was... Fear of God went through my veins, you know? Oof. Okay, no. We don't want to take that one. Okay, so there's only going to be three left after this, just three, there's one of them right there, there's the, there's two, and then there's three, I love how they're all just waiting for me, like I'm putting along like some kind of mental midget, there we go, nice. And it still teleports you out of the race, by the way. Ridiculous, but whatever. Hey, we got the gym! Now let's go back to Smokey and the Bandicoot, eh? Mm-hmm. We're only 21.50 into recording anyway. That's actually not bad. Considering, I think, what, we did we do all five levels in this, or... No, I don't even know. Now we can just drive like a maniac. Can you get out of my way? I think they're just all the, cr all the uh, crash and bat, like, bosses, right? Like, engine... All the bosses that aren't technically part of this game as bosses, you know? They think the bosses of, like... 1, 2, and 3, essentially. Mainly, uh, 2 and 3. Because this is technically considered Crash 4. Apparently that is not a place you can fall off. That's nice to know. Also, you can't push your enemy, like, the enemies off, which is also another annoyance. Why am I up on that hill? What is going on here, man? Woohoo! Oh, that recovery, man. And I think we win. The race itself took like a minute. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so I know what we're doing in the next episode. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and in the next episode, we'll be taking on the boss known as Crashes to Ashes. Yeah, see you guys next time, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.